Hi, this is Natalie McGee, and this is your full body floor workout. You only need two pieces of equipment, a block and a set of weights. I recommend between five and eight pounds. If you don't have a block, then you can grab a soft ball or a towel and roll that up and use that. We'll start on our backs. Plant your feet into the ground. Grab your hand weights, bring them to your hip creases. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, press through the back of your head, and lift your hips off the ground. Hands go to the outside of your, the heads of the weights, press through the back of the head, and just start tap those hips down and lift them up. Tap and lift. So for all the exercises today, I want you to do 50 reps. So just count them out in your head, or you can set a timer for approximately one minute. So just tap and lift, tap and lift. Remember to squeeze the glutes at the top and then release them as the hips tap down. Press into the soles of your feet to give you some leverage here. This is a workout you can do most anytime, anywhere. And it won't even take you that long, and you'll be total body sculpted by the end of it. So let's do 10 more of these, lift and lower. You should be feeling these in your glutes by now. And then we're gonna bring the weights to the hands. And five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, take the weights to your hands, glue the weights right above you, and open the weights as you lower the hips, close the weights as you lift the hips. So you can put a little bend in your elbows here, and as always, you can opt out of the weights altogether. So just tap those hips down, then glue the weights together. Now you're sculpting the arms, as well as the glutes, getting some core in there as well. Good. 10 more here. And then we're going to move into skull crushers. And five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up. Now getting into the triceps. So tap the weights behind you. Keep the hips lifted. Bring the weights over you. Lower the hips. Tap them down. Lower them up. This whole time you want to keep the chin away from the chest. Imagine you're squeezing a piece of fruit between your chin and your chest. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Go slow here. Take breaks as you need to. Get ready to get your block out for the next part of our series. And four. Last three. Last two. Last one, hold it up. Bring those weights, gently put them down by your side. Grab your block. Take your block, bring it in between your knees. So about long ways here, your block has various sides to it. Squeeze, so the blocks are my knee to squeeze, activating those inner thoughts. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, lift the hips up, palms face up. Chin away from the chest. Root down into that left foot, and then extend the right leg up. So squeeze, and you're gonna lift and lower that hip. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So 25 with the right leg extended, and then we'll do 25 with the left leg extended. So if you notice that block starting to come out, just squeeze a little bit tighter. So if it's falling all over the place like this, squeeze, squeeze. Five more here. Four, three, two, one. Reposition your block and switch sides. So, squeeze, lift and lower. So you see this hip, they're both kind of dropping down at the same time. I can feel my inner thighs start to burn as I'm lifting and lowering because of the squeezing with the block. All right, so you're getting more into that sculpting, nice long lean inner thighs. Let's do five more here. Four, three, two, one. Squeeze, take that block, draw the knees in together. Lift your shoulder blades off the mat, 
Lift your hips slightly off the mat. Press your hands into the block. Drop your hips down. So you want to feel a nice tight core here. Press the hands into the block. I want you to pulse. Pulse. If you don't feel this, press into the block harder. So shoulder blades stay off the mat the whole or the floor the whole time. Keep pressing. Notice how my palms are activated. Not just out to the side. Press right down here, getting into that tight lower belly. So pulse here for 50. Those shoulder blades off the mat. Ten more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it up. Good. Extend everything up to the sky. So legs up to the sky. Take your block. Bring it in between your legs here. Squeeze those legs in. Kick the arms overhead, bring your heels slowly to the ground. So 25 of these, as you bring your legs up, bring your hands up, grab the block, and release. Extend, bring the legs up, put the block in between your heels, and extend everything long. Go slow here so you feel a stretch from the lower abdomen all the way to your upper abdomen. So you get that nice six pack. So extend. Come up, switch, take it overhead, extend, up, switch here. Five more here. Also, bend the knees if you need to. Modify. Cool. Now, roll onto your belly. Take the block, bring it behind your ankles. Squeeze that block. Roll onto your belly. Take your elbows by your sides. Shoulder blades off on the back here. And these are called Superman. So what does Superman do? They tone the back side of your core. So your core wraps from the front all the way around the back. You balance out the front by working the back now. So elbows by your side. So 50 of these, you're gonna lift up, squeeze, and lower. Lift up, and lower. If you wanna get the arms into it, you can start kind of pull. So up, front, pull, down. Up, hold, down. 50 of these. With the arms in there, you're getting into the lats as well. Kind of like a chest fly here. Make sure you squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes. You're gonna feel this activate your glutes as well as your back. Hold everything out and down. Let's do 10 more. Drop it. 
and just come down, readjust, and get back into it. If you interlace your hand, pressing into the forearm, make it a little bit easier. Lift up and pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze the glute, gaze forward. Draw everything in. And 10 more here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Good job. And that's your workout. So hit repeat. Do the workout again in its entirety. Aim for three times a week to start with, and then work your way up to five times a week for an ageless body and it's ageless hard.